Greetings fellow engineers and welcome here on Tardoras Inc. On today's episode of my small ship gone large guide I want to focus on the base layout of the ship. If you haven't checked the previous episode, make sure to do this first, links are in the description. But let's start. The first thing you need to know are the minimal measurements you need to have for your interior for your engineer to be able to walk inside it. That is a corridor of 3 by 4 blocks. You can of course build it much larger but that is the bare minimum. Now let's take care of basic layout. For that, and especially if you are unexperienced in building stuff like this, I always recommend building some sort of frame first. Use a different color and mark the area you want to have as a walkable interior. And always remember, everything you are doing is always subject to change. So if you feel like your ship is too small, make a cut, fit in a few extra blocks and paste it back together. Like Shia LaBeouf once said, just do it. Especially when it comes to building ships, it's better to just start doing stuff instead of only thinking about it. Now, place down the power sources. For my build I think a total of two large fusion reactors should be enough. Also, try to place a basic conveyor layout. I always like to integrate those into the floor or the walls as much as possible. Also, think of the position of the entrance to your ship. I have added a few more mods to this world, mainly the industrial thrusters by Sage, the encased gyroscopes by Kukas, the DK thrusters by Duncan Kong and the sloped LCDs by Happy Sushi, the armor slabs by Diggy and the armor slab extension by Thin Pixelation. Those greatly influence the look of your ship, so let's swap out the vanilla thrusters and place a few encased gyros instead of the standard ones. Now, for the last part of today, let's focus on the basic layout of your cockpit. I always tend to do that very early because the look of the cockpit always influences the rest of the ship. For that, just stand on the spot you want the cockpit to be and take a look around. Now, I want my ship to have three seats with a walkway in the middle, so I leave three blocks space and raise the seat next to me by one block to reach the four blocks in height. Same with the main seat in front of me. Now let's put the windows. I prefer to have a somewhat narrow field of view mainly because of the look. And one tip, try to avoid large plain window sections at the front. A V-shape makes the cockpit look a lot better pretty much all the time. Now that we have placed our windows, let's close the ceiling using the arrow slabs. Those give the ship a nice flat and streamlined appearance. Last but not least, place in a few text panels inside the cockpit and this section's prototype is pretty much done for now. Alright, that's where we will continue in the next episode. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see next time, write it down in the comments. Also, check out the description for all kinds of awesome links for you to discover. I hope to see you all next time and as always, keep on engineering and cheers!